What's up, fellas? Welcome back to Effortless Gent. Today, we're back with another episode of This Over That, where I am going to show you how to pick the right tie width for you. If you haven't seen a This Over That video before, it's basically a series that gives you easy and better alternatives to stuff that you may already be wearing. Make these small tweaks to your outfits and you will improve your look like 1,000%. That's scientifically proven, by the way. Hopefully this encourages you to try something new and better. Way back in like 2005 or 2006, the popularity of slim ties and slim suits in general were on the rise. Nowadays, skinny ties and slim suits are ubiquitous, whereas a few years ago, it was really hard to find a suit that wasn't boxy and baggy and looked like it belonged in your dad's closet. In today's video, we're obviously talking about ties and how wide they should be. You may think that going for a skinny tie is always the best bet, but honestly, it's not. However, I do have an easy cue for you to follow to determine whether your ties should be wider or skinnier. You want to look at two things, your collar and your jacket lapel. Those two things are going to help you determine how wide your tie should be. So how wide are they visually? Just take a step back in the mirror and like look at yourself and try to figure out, okay, these are a certain width. I think my tie needs to be basically about that same width. So let me show you some examples. All right, so here is an example of a guy wearing a really slim suit. You can see that his collar is shorter than average and his lapel is also really skinny. Therefore, he should probably go with a skinny tie to match both his lapel and his collar. All right, so example number two, you can see here that this guy has a more substantial collar and also his lapel is a little bit wider. So if he were to choose a skinny tie, it wouldn't look right. He needs to find a tie that is wider that's gonna match his lapel and his collar. And that's exactly what he did here. Skinny suits and skinny ties in general, they are very trendy and specific. They work with a certain kind of guy. So if you're really tall and slim and young, these suits will look great on you. But if you're an older guy or if you have a little bit of more meat on your bones, you're going to want to go with suits that uh, are tailored, but they fit a little bit looser on you. And not loose like in a sloppy sense, but something that gives you a little bit more room to move around. And if you work with a custom shop or a tailor or someone who makes custom clothing, they will easily be able to fit you into a suit that looks good for your body type. So so if you're going for a more smart, sharp sort of style, something that's a little bit more grown up and sophisticated, you're not necessarily necessarily looking for things that are skinnier, but you want clothing that is more tailored and well proportioned to your body. So to wrap it up, while I can't say you should wear this tie over that one, what I do want you to take away from this video is to use those visual cues of looking at your collar and looking at your jacket lapel to decide what width of tie you should go with. If you are collar and you are lapel are more substantial, go with a wider, more substantial tie and vice versa. If you have a really short, skinny, slim collar and you have a skinny lapel, a slim or skinny tie will look best with your outfit. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I do have a few videos in this series, this over that. So make sure you check that out. I'm going to link to them above. And if you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit that like button. And if you love it, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.